Oye, kamusta mabuhay and maligayang pagbabalik sa akin channel. Alright, so the beginning of the video was a hint as to what we'll be reacting to today. Yes, you guys have been asking me over and over again to react to Katrina Velarde's Spanish version of Listen, which is called Oye. There you go. That's what we'll be reacting to. But I have to admit that I was reluctant to reacting to this performance because of copyrights. Okay, Listen is a very popular song. And I know that Katrina Velarde, when she uploads something on her channel, usually it's great quality, meaning that she did not half ass the job. Which means that once I upload my video, YouTube is gonna annoy me. And so we're gonna have to remove some parts, okay? To avoid copyright issues. But as usual, I will keep the best parts, all right? You don't have to worry about that. But before we start, make sure to follow me on Instagram at Music Game News, because that is where you can DM me your suggestions. And without further ado, let's check out the magnificent Katrina Velarde. That is a bombastic start, to say the least, about the song Listen. Did you hear all the hits? Oh my gosh! Pew, pew. Oh yeah, lo que tengo que decir, no puedo ya seguir viviendo. I haven't seen Katrina Velarde rock uh, long hair in a very long time. It's actually weird now to see her with long hair. Whoosh! Dangerous woman. I don't think that this is the first time that Katrina Velarde covers a popular song in Spanish, right? So why do you think she enjoys to do to do it? You know, to like make an official cover of popular songs, but the Spanish version. I don't know. Is there an explanation to that? Libre, okay. <laughs> Interesting. In the original song, they repeat the word listen, but here they say libre and then oye. Okay. So far, you know, I was very much enjoying it, but I feel like the back of vocals there did not hit the... Or I would have liked her to record the back of vocals in a different key. That was a little strange. Or maybe it's the mix. Okay, I think maybe it's the mix. I think it's because they kept the back of vocals in the center, but they should have spread them, you know, left and right. That's why. I think that's why. Like, Katrina Velarde does not sing false, okay? She's always on pitch, and she knows what she's doing. Like, she's also, I believe, a composer. You know, she composes all her, her covers. So I just think it's a mix problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yeah. It does not make any sense to me. Why would you put the backup vocals in the center with the main vocal? When you do that, you have the, 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 the main vocal fighting for a spot with the backup vocals. You know, they're fighting for frequencies that are located in the middle. You don't do that. You don't, like space. Like the main vocal needs its space. So why not just spread the backup vocals, you know, to the sides. Beautiful runs, let's go. Que me fuera. My goodness, who in the world created this uh, instrumental version for her? You know, she did not create this her own, you know, by herself. Like, because I know, I know Katrina Velarde has her own, like, uh, equipment at home and she can, you know, do her, own, do her own covers. But this was meticulously produced by at least two people, okay, in a studio. Uh, I am hearing a keyboard. It's like, it's weird. It's not, it's not an orchestral version of the song. It's like a studio plus keyboard version of the song with a lot of uh, hits. See, you hear the keyboard? Woo! Let's go, girl. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Do you hear the leads? Those are leads. You know, in an orchestra, you, they don't use, um, you know, electronic sounds. They don't use that keyboard, you know, with electronic sounds. They use strings for that part, you know, or horns or whatever. But here, they replaced them with leads that came out out of a keyboard or a, an, uh, an audio software, you know. I almost said a bad word, okay? <laughs> that was extraordinary, the way she uh, she sang and belted. That was insane. <sighs> I miss them, man. I miss them. I miss those times where Katrina Velarde used to be very active on uh, on YouTube. Oh yeah, you know it wasn't just her. It was the best ones. Her, uh, Morissette. Uh, Sarah Ronimo, uh, you know, so, so many of them. Ugh. Like, the pandemic ruined a lot of things, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, that was phenomenal, and the beat keeps surprising me. Um, now it kind of transformed into something more funky. You know, that was that was odd, and yet I did not mind it. Okay, let's rewind just a little bit because that part was insane.
it's it's a uh, how to describe it it's a chills galore portion of this cover like this entire part is it will give you chills the entire times like i felt chills <sighs> so many chills <laughs> She is crazy. She is crazy. We need uh, the climax again. God, that was epic! There you go. So it was produced by Katarina Velarde, arranged by Bobby Velasco. Bobby Velasco, I'm familiar with his work. Key keyboard, see, I mentioned the keyboard. Keyboard and pro programming, also Bobby Velasco. Okay. There we go. The problem is with Teddy Katigbak. Teddy Katigbak. Why would you put the freaking backup vocals in the middle? I, I know there is. Oh my God. I wonder if uh, this person actually tried to put them in stereo or just spread them a little bit and it just didn't work. I don't know, but you just don't put them in the middle. Maybe you spread them slightly. Oh, but bro, bo Bobby Velasco, man, you're a beast. Uh, and Katarina Velarde as well. But Teddy, man, come on, dude. Like, I enjoyed your mix. It's just that one part. The backup vocals really bothered me. This was incredible. Incredible. It's uh, hard to describe how good... Katrina Velarde is, she's on another level, you know, like I, when I joined YouTube and uh, you know, Filipinos came to me and asked me to start reacting to their, uh, you know, singers, I feel like it was the golden age. I don't know. That's just how I feel. Golden age of these young divas, you know, the more says the Katrinas and everything they would blow our minds every 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 week every month i don't know i miss it i miss it so much that was incredible the runs the scaling the power the control the vision oh wow and honestly if i do have to remove some parts it will hurt me but don't worry don't worry i always try to remove as little as i as i as i have to and just did the parts that aren't that interesting, you know? That was insane. Wow. I can't believe I almost did not react to this. But I would have listened to it even if uh, I, uh, I didn't react to it, you know? <sighs> Incredible. Anyway, uh, let me know in the comment section below your thoughts. Maraming maraming salamat po! Thank you for joining me as usual. And if you have gotten value out of this video, then do not hesitate to check out my other videos right here.